So now we'll go to the last one uh, here. And again, it, it's, I, I, don't, I don't get this. This is by, this is by a female. He says, you know who's literally never making these posts about women's body counts? Dudes who have unlimited access to women with looks slash money slash charisma. It's always the men who, who seem to have struggled to get all the worn out shoes, quote unquote, to bang. Very interesting, if I might say. Well, my, res- my my response to this is like, again, like what we were talking about, like guys like Future, whoever, it's like, yeah, the women who sleep around, those are fun women. They'll sleep around. They'll say these are my side chicks. But are they marrying these women and building families with them? It's like, you know, yeah. like, do they do they really respect those women? Yeah. Earlier, I was talking about how, like you mentioned the Etty. Uh, I, I really like words. I really like semantics. The person who was commenting here also was like, said they like semantics, but I don't think they were engaging in semantics. So people were talking about solipsism. It's like, that's not really solipsism, what you're talking about there. If you're talking about this is oversimplified, but then they talk about, oh, the shoes thing is too simplified, but then like, yeah, isn't saying my sexual history, my values are not based on my sexual history. That's also a simplified comment. So, And I have a pet peeve with people who literally, who say literally, because in my yeah. experience, especially with Americans, when they say literally, they mean figuratively. Because this person yeah. says, you know who's literally never making posts about women's body counts? They, they, they don't, there's no, there's no possible way they actually mean this literally, <laughs> because they go on and say, dudes do who have unlimited access to women. What does what do they mean unlimited access to women? How many people do they how many dudes do they know that have unlimited access to women? And those dudes, let's say you look at like a future or even like Elon Musk, what sort of access to women is he having? Is he wifing up these women? Nah. He's having kids with them, he's doing the future. Is he yeah. wifing up these women? Nah. He's having no. kids with them and leaving them at all. Like Elon yeah. Musk at least has married a few of them. But he's Elon uh-huh. Musk at least is actually caring for some of those kids. But what is the relationship? So what is this woman looking for? If this woman with the, the, the sign saying my sexual, if she's just looking to be a side chick for some guy, some wealthy, even some wealthy high status guy, she could probably find some sugar daddy sort of guy or some, or just some wealthy guy, even some of the sugar yeah. daddy, who's not much older. Somebody her age, who's a player, who's out there, who's, she could probably go and find some athlete. She's passionately attractive. She could find some athlete some famous person, somebody with means, some dentist with a decent job who's single, she might be able to find them, but to find somebody who's actually going to, is that the sort of person that she's looking for? So I don't understand this person who's saying this. Dudes have unlimited access to women with looks, money, and charisma. I guess she's saying like the men with looks, money, and charisma somehow don't make, they don't make posts, but do you think they don't care? Like, look, like, I'm looking at those men yeah. with looks, money, and charisma. Who do they marry? Not who yeah. do they sleep with? Who do they marry? Yes, some, and then it's another thing. Some athletes, some of these high, like you look at a Johnny Depp. He has looks. He had money. He had charisma. But you look at who he actually ended up with. Because looks, money, and charisma, like you see, she's judging. She's valuing looks, money, and charisma. Because that's yeah. what females in general value in base level. But Johnny Depp was a broken human being that ended up with broken people because he didn't value the actual valuable things, the underlying things. But you see, even this woman is setting up looks, money, and charisma as the top level things. But that's not what makes a strong relationship, a strong, long lasting marriage. Simply looks, marriage, and charisma is not what's going to actually do that. Yeah, because again, it's like, it was like the earlier point about like the average woman sleeping with the eight, nine or 10. Like she may think she's great. Oh, I slept with this guy. But it's like, but again, that man's not marrying her. That man's not showing her off to his friends. That man's not, you know, it's not like me and Christine where we have all these photos of us together. It's like, yeah, he's maybe sleeping with her on the side, but then he won't talk to her in public. It's like, mm-hmm. it's like, do you really want to be in that category where you just get, you know, it's like, yeah, you're sleeping with this guy, but if he's just using you and moving on, I mean, is that really something to brag about? I mean, again, I'm not yeah. a woman, but it's like I, I can't imagine I wanting to be used and discarded for someone else. I mean, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then to finish off, I'm not going to be figurative with this person because I think they said figurative is like very interesting, I might say. Yes, I know you may say. You're the one typing. You can say whatever the hell you yeah. want to say. You don't have to write I may say. And I don't really think you find this interesting. Yeah. Try to be sarcastic. You're trying to you didn't respond because I asked them, do they actually mean this? But I actually have found this thread to be interesting. Found the conversation yeah. that we had about it interesting as well. I think we we're towards the end of it, that we wound on. We thought it was going to yeah. be like under an hour, but imagine if we actually went through and actually read every single one of them yeah. like way much longer. <laughs> but I think yeah. I think we've done this thread justice. 
Anybody who's been in this thread, thank you all very much. It is a public thread. We try to avoid saying people's names. If you feel that we have done you an injustice in the discussion we've had, because Stephen Wolf most definitely posts this on his page, so the same people who had access to seeing his initial post shall see this. And anybody else, if you think we've done the people injustice who are saying these things, please let us know, because as we mentioned, we gave our definition at the start of what we consider that image to be dealing with, why the person she was coming talking about, because he's talking about monogamous relationships, and we kind of delineated what we mean by sexual marketplace value, sexual market value, which is just sexual, things to do with sexual things, not sex in, in particular, and why economics is just human actions and not just financial, or just objects and things like that. I think we delineated that, and we're coming from that point of view, and I was trying to understand, and almost nobody really defined what they mean by economics or what they mean by SMB. They were just stating that what we were saying is not what they were saying, but never actually expanded on what they were saying. That makes any sense. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of it was just sort of an emotional reaction and an attempt to virtue signal again. I mean, if you think we're being unfair, feel free to comment. I'd be curious to hear any feedback. I mean, like, like we say, I mean, we didn't, we didn't cite any... We didn't read anyone's names and I mean we read everything verbatim. Nobody went back and deleted anything. So yeah. presumably if people had issues with what they said, they I mean, maybe a few comments were edited, but we read the last most recent comments. So if you have issues with us reading your comments, it's you know, it's kind of the libs of TikTok thing. You know, it's like you're offended. I mean, again, put feel free to push back, but I don't yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not I I I wasn't really persuaded by any of the comments in this thread. I mean, I think yeah. that's still my original point. And, and for me, I, I, I would like to be proven wrong. I actually value more when people prove me wrong because that means I can stop believing something that's false and actually start finding the actual real true things out there because I do value truth above most things in most cases more so than other people. And I know that's not necessarily the healthiest, most sociable thing to do because I think most groups are, decide, are defined by the lies we tell each other rather than like the truths we perceive because the truths I think are open to just anyone to actually find. But I found people like Stephen, who I think we have a shared value for friendships and for truths and for knowledge and for <laughs> logic and things like that. And hopefully somebody did post in there was like, you know, you're saying these things, but I don't think most women think like that. I'm like, yeah, probably not. I don't think most men think like I do. <laughs> but the positive thing about this, for this person assuming my gender, assuming my, my orientation, but I just need to find one person who values how I think, who values yeah. the history that I've had, who's willing to have a monogamous long-term relationship with me. And I think there's a potential for me to do that. So I don't care about the millions of other people or the billions of other people who disagree with me. I just want that one. And I don't think you need to yeah. sacrifice your principles. I don't think this woman needs to just say, and needs to hide her sexual history. I don't think she needs to demand like somebody change the yeah. way they are. She can find somebody that values her for what she did in her past, for who she is now, and be happy with that person. And and, and I think other people out there can as well. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I mean, I'm with someone, you know, from the Far East. I mean, you know, she's raised Buddhist. Her culture is different from mine in a lot of ways. I mean, even just like the way we speak to authority figures, the things that we're supposed to talk about. And like, you know, I'm learning some of that stuff, but it's like, you know, we uh, we respect each other's thought process. I mean, you know, we talk on, you know, we talk about this stuff and it's like, I'm willing to try and be understanding. And, you know, it's like, I'm not going to lie or pretend to be someone else, but it's like, there is sort of that understanding, but it's like, there still is that love and respect there. So it's like, you know, we can make it work. Thank you for listening. This has been a clip from an actual longer recording that I'll try to leave a link to on the screen or somewhere around here where you're listening to this. Presents. <laughs> Presents. 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 Peasants. Okay. <laughs> okay.